Hello guys, this is your boy, Neil Gonzalez, Storm Gonzalez, Weather X45, Meliodrus, Neil Gonzalez, Gonzalez. And yes, we have the Great Polar Vortex. It's already named, and the cold front is a the cold front is already named. And what name is it? Cold Front Mammoth. M A M O P T H. That's how you spell the name. Cold Front Mammoth will devastate the whole entire Western case, American. The Western Upstate, Winnipeg, Alaska, Canada, um, and others. And guess what? Miliandris, Miliandris, Dan Bro said that temperatures for Florida is gonna be 54 degrees. And it's no joke. 54 degrees, Dan Bros. Miliandris, Dan Bro said that 54 degrees temperature, mid 50 temperatures will be expected for Florida due to the great polar vortex. Cold Front Mammoth, our super great polar vortex, will affect the Northeast. And not just that, in the news, they said that a cold mass of air will affect New York City tonight. Temperatures will feel like 19 degrees. Right now the temperature is 36 degrees. Going up to 38, um, right at 4 o'clock it's going to be um, 38 degrees. And now it went to 37. Look at me right now. Jackets, everything. It got cold really quick. Temperatures right now is 36 degrees. Well, now it's 37 degrees. The real feel is 30 degrees. The real feel temperature. My hands are getting red. Because it's cold. My phone is getting cold, which I'm recording on. It's a really good phone, and well, whatever about that. But we're expecting cold front mammoth, the great polar vortex, to affect Russia, the upper Asia, the North Pole, Greenland, and guess what right now? Greenland is affected by the great polar vortex. Polar vortex mammoth, cold front mammoth, brought a really strong freezing temperature to Greenland. Temperatures had reached down to below 40 degrees and tonight it went down to below 70 degrees which caused really freezing down points and in Antarctica temperatures are right now 176 below dew point which means that's 10 times more colder and freezing Cold Front Mammoth, it's going to be one of our history books. The best and strongest and really stronger. And it's going to be stronger than Cold Front Sandy. And maybe talk about 2013-2014. Um, about Super Cold Front Sandy to Super Cold Front Typhoon. The temperatures were going down. The temperatures were re -actuating causing mist and lots of fog when before it was the name of cold front sandy it was in an effect it was going down but the temperatures weren't as bad for super cold front sandy so what happened is super cold front sandy came and rushed down to the western of north america which means the northwest to southeast of North America and it caused misty misty and foggy conditions really dense fog which was really bad and it was really heavy fog then it changed to heavy rain and thunderstorms which had been issued from Louisiana to Minneapolis they had thunderstorms during that day which caused more moisture then a cold front rushed another cold front, but it wasn't named because it wasn't a, as a worse cold front, but it was really cold because it caused 36 degrees temperature. So 
a hit with cold friend Sandy. Then cold friend Sandy made a more minus division for a quarter, which caused temperatures to reach down, even more down. Then when it was named Super Cold Front Typhoon, it became stronger and we call it the Super Cold Front. So, we're going to have another cold front that's going to be even powerful than Typhoon and Sand. And remember a few, few days after Happy New Year, we had Blizzard Hercules. It was a Category 2 blizzard and Miliadris Dan Bros said that um, we're gonna make a category a blizzard season now we're gonna have that new future on the blizzard season what is a blizzard season it teleports each one of the storms let's say windy flurry storms W F windy flurry storm that means heavy flurries which is close to snow then going to a winter storm means that it gets more snow but it has blizzard conditions now blizzard blizzards happens everywhere in 1997 New York City had a really powerful great blizzard that caused about 15 feet of ice in lower Manhattan because there was a lot of dew points temperature freezing temperatures now this is gonna happen again the Great Polar Vortex, Cold Front Mammoth, will affect the, the, the whole half, a whole half quarter of New York State, including other Americans, Winnipeg, Detroit, and, um, and, and any half quarters of American, except for Florida and Texas and, you know, those other... But before, Colfer and Sandy made a reach down point to Texas before. And it caused temperatures to reach down to 36 degrees. Imagine, 36 degrees from parts of Texas. Now guess what? We're going to have another Colfer that's going to be really powerful. And it's called Colfer Mammoth. Colfer Mammoth will be our great polar vortex. And it will cause lots of storms. And New York City, 2013 to 2014, we had a lot of snowstorms and windy rain weather that hit in our area, causing more marching parade of storms that happened in the year. But guess what? Colfer Mammoth is going to be even more powerful than Sandy and Typhoon. Sandy, when, when the name before was called Sandy, then it was named to Colfer and Typhoon. Then it was super cold front typhoon. And Russia is going to have a more powerful freezing temperature than New York State is going to have. Before when super cold front typhoon hit Russia, they had 100 inches of snow to 120. That means that's over 30 feet of snow. And the ice cap, you know those weather things that, that has the light and it catches weather alerts? That one was devastating, and almost four Russians were caught by it, and over about two Russians were killed by that great po that that polar vortex. Now, guess what? We're gonna have a more powerful snow, more powerful than that. The great polar vortex, polar vortex mammoth, will be our great polar vortex to affect from the year of 2014 to 2015. This is your boy, Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez, Weather X45, Storm Weather X45, your boy, Mealy Adris. And guess what? Tonight is going to be, tonight is going to be 28 degrees, but the real feel is going to be feeling 20 degrees. So people wear really strong coats, wear a hoodie, hat, scarf, and large boots if you want, to keep you warm. And drink some hot, hot, hot chocolate. Any, uh, or hot coffee, anything. Be prepared for a cold front that's gonna devastate America. And Florida is is reaching 54 degrees for the marking period of each day. 
So, that's gonna happen. Hope you guys like this video. Making more updates. This is your boy, Neil Gonzalez Gonzalez, WeatherX45. And keep yourself warm. Be prepared for Cold Front Mammoth, the great polar vortex. And bye.